Welcome to C Programming for Everybody. My name is Charles Severance, and I'm your instructor for this course. This course and website is dedicated to learning the classic version of C programming language from the 1978 book written by Brian W. Kernighan and Dennis M. Ritchie. This book places the reader in the middle of the 1970s transition from a hardware-centered computer science to a focus on writing portable and efficient software. C was used to develop operating systems like Unix, Minix, and Linux. Programming languages like Perl, Python, Java, and JavaScript, and Ruby are all written in C. Software like early TCP/IP networking stack implementations that made the internet possible were written in C. And the first web browsers and web servers were written in C. Writing software in C enabled major advances in computer architecture and performance. Operating systems, compilers, and utilities could be recompiled to work on a new hardware platform once we had a C compiler for the new hardware. So much software has been written in C over the past 40 years that there's a very good chance that much of the software that you use every day was either written in C or written in a programming language that was written in C. So we study C less as a programming language to use on a daily basis and more as the foundation of modern software and computing. In many ways, C is the technology equivalent of the Rosetta Stone in that it provides a connection between the programming languages of the past and the programming languages of the present. The name CC4E in www.cc4e.com refers to the original Unix command CC, which was the command that you use to compile your C program. CC stood for C Compiler, and it is featured on the first page of the first chapter of the KNR C book. Programmers like me from the 1970s and 1980s typed CC on Unix systems like the AT&T 3B2 to compile and run their first Hello World program in C. This material is being presented under fair use as we are making use of material from a copyrighted work that is out of print and not broadly available in any format. The book is also not available in any accessible format. We are making use of this material in a teaching and research context with a focus on studying its contribution to computing history. The material is av available for free and online to anyone who wants to learn about the history of the C language, computing, and computer architecture. Welcome to the course.